What's going on guys, Bobby here, and today we have a really good video for you guys. So today we are playing another heist video. I know our last one was a heist world record, and we don't normally do heist stuff, but we're showing you guys the best comp on literally every single heist map. Now, it might not be the absolute top tier best three brawlers for every single one, but for the comp, it is definitely the best comp, at least on ladder for every single heist map. It is so, so lethal, so easy to win the games, and it just synergizes so well. So that being said, we're going to show you guys the comp, even though you guys can kind of see it on screen already we're gonna hop into the games let's get things going okay so here we go into the first game now before we get into it i just want to say that jigsaw we have memed on the channel quite a lot and has been on our channel a ton has started a youtube channel so if any of you guys want to check that out it's going to be in the description below he's a pretty decent player i'd say he's the second best bb in north america obviously behind bobby bs so he's a pretty good player definitely go check him out uh, but as you guys can see I was too busy shouting out Jigsaw and we already won the game before I can even talk about the comp. So I guess let's just hop into the second game before we get into it, before we speak about anything and let's get going. All right, so here we go into the second game. So the comp, as you guys saw from last game, is Max, BB, and Daryl. Now this comp is very, very good and I'm going to explain to you why. There's a few different reasons as to why it is the best comp in the game. So to start off, um, it definitely has an extremely high DPS. As you guys can see, Max, Daryl, BB, really good DPS brawlers, especially Max and Daryl. And now BB is really good with her bubble on heist because of the fact that you can do a lot of damage with the walls. You guys see Jig is putting in a ton of work. I'm going to give Jig speed. And as you guys know, speed and tanks go really well together. If you're a tanky unit with a lot of HP, it's very easy for you to just run into somebody's face and get really easy kills. And that's essentially what happens with jigsaw being on the bb and the daryl they just run into people's faces as tanks they can't get hurt because they're tanks they have way too much hp and all they do is damage over and over and over again uh, now we're going to give speed over here to this daryl the game's already over there's nothing that these guys can do even though they have very broken brawlers on their comp and even a primo which does kind of counter there's still nothing that they can do because of the fact that we do too much damage, we have too much HP, and we're just way too fast. So again, we're going to get into the next game. We're going to play some as Daryl and some as BB, so you guys know how to play this comp with every single brawler. But again, let's get into the next game. It's going to be our third max game. Let's hop into it. All right, so here we go into our next game. Now, we're playing some pretty good players over here. So this game, I'm going to tell you guys what you want to do with Max, as I think I should just explain what to do with every single brawler. So with Max, basically what your goal is, is to get speed and to do DPS. You're kind of like the mid guy. You don't want to be playing too much offense. You also don't want to be playing too much defense. If you guys want really good max tips as well, Alec plays a really good max. He's on our team, so you guys can just watch that. I don't normally play max, but it's a pretty easy brawler, so I'm sure I can figure it out. I only hold I hold the bolt to only a few percent over there. I'm just going to wait until we regen a little bit. You never want to use your speed on your own. You always want to share it with your teammates. And reason being is just because, you know, two fast people are better than one. So we're able to do a good amount of damage over there. Unfortunately, Jig is going to go down. Now, we do do a lot better against squishier opponents. I just said doo-doo. Um, but we're going to go down over there. We made a pretty aggressive play. Don't know if it was worth it or not. Uh, but we're going to be able to take this guy out pretty easily. Going to give our speed to our Daryl over here. And now we're going to start moving up. And you guys can see we get to halfway across the map really, really fast with that speed, obviously. We're trying to take out the spike. We did get hit by two for 2k, which is so annoying. But again, you guys can see we're just helping out our teammates. Our teammates are kind of like the main enforcers here. Because they, you know, they are a spike, or not a spike, sorry, a Daryl and a BB. They do a really good amount of damage. They do a lot, they do have a lot of pressure. So, you know, it's just really easy for them to do work, especially when we give them speed. So, you know, we don't really do too much. We kind of just assist them um, and we play our defense. We kind of just chill within our role. I'm going to use speed over here alone on defense because if I defend this, we're going to win the game. We're able to defend it. Jigsaw and our Daryl are going to be able to take it out. Start player, and that's going to be a win. So that's basically how you play Max. You hold that neutral. You play that defense. And if you can, you just spray on the safe because you do a ton of damage. Now, I'm not the best Max in the world. There's definitely a lot of better Max. As you guys can see, my Max is only 541, and I've played it three games because it's the only Max I play. But we're going to hop over onto Daryl now, show you guys how to play Daryl. So that being said, let's hop into it, and let's show you guys what's up. Okay, so here we go into the next game. Now, we're facing some really good players here, so this one might be a little bit tough. But we're going to be on the Daryl now. So basically, what you guys want to do as Daryl is just do as much damage as possible, obviously. I'm um, thinking there's going to be a bull over here. There is. So we're going to get a few shots off. Our max, again, is going to be defense. So we're going to be going on the offense. Now, as Daryl, all you want to do is a ton of damage. Now, I've never done this before. Okay, 2.8K, not that bad. But again, you guys can see we're kind of popping off with the damage over here. We're going to use our rolling reload. 
Um, but I think they're going to be able to get it. Okay, so if you're playing defense with Max and you get 2v1 like that, it is a very hard situation, I understand. But you guys can see at the end of that game, if you did if you did catch it, the Bull had 1,000 health and the Daryl had 2,000 health. So what you want to do if you're on a 2v1 on defense, so if you have two people rushing going aggro and two people on the other team rushing going aggro and you're the defender, just try and kill one of them. Preferably the DPS, but in that situation, just kill one. Because if you can kill one of them, you're going to be able to cut their damage in half that they can do. And your team is just going to do more damage because two people do more damage than one. I highly suggest doing that instead of just chipping down both because that's not a very effective strategy. But again, that's a good team. It was a base race. wasn't the most skilled gameplay in the world. So let's hop into the next game and let's show you guys what's up. Okay, so here we go into our next game. So we're going to be playing against a Brock, Rico, and Primo. So again, really good defense, but we should have this down. So as you guys saw last game, all you want to do basically is walk up and do damage. We're going to be using rolling reload star power. Now, I guess you can use any star power to be honest, but um, this one is probably better for your specific goal. Now, the other star power is really good if you kind of want to just like assassinate somebody. So if you want to just go up and do a little bit of damage or, or not damage, if you want to just go up and kill someone like a Rico or something, you know, you're going to have that shield on the roll. You can roll right onto him and do a ton of damage. But this one is more or less meant for just like hitting the safe a bunch of times, doing a bunch of damage, getting your shots really fast. I'm going to see if we can get the 6k over there. We're not able to do it yet. Haven't practiced it at all, which is probably why we're not able to do it. But hopefully we do learn how to do it soon. So we're going to be doing a ton of damage over here. That's really, really good. We have our super again. So we're going to be able to roll up. Max is going to give us speed probably. Yeah, we're just going to roll up over here. Oh, there's a lot of people. Okay, I didn't expect that many people over here. Just going to use my, uh, my super to kind of just... Or not my super, sorry, my gadget kind of to slow them down. Gonna roll in, and even though we're gonna die, Jig's gonna be able to take this safe out. And that's gonna be a really good win. So as you guys see, again, we're just going up, we're doing damage. Not one time did you guys catch us on defense both games, because that is not our goal. You have to stick within your assignment. You have to stick within your strategy if you want to win the game. If you are if you have a max and a, you know, if you have a defensive unit and a Daryl, but your Daryl is playing defense and your defensive unit is playing offense, even though the comp is good, you're not going to be able to win. Stick within your brawler and what your brawler is supposed to do, and that's probably how you're going to win most games, especially in modes like Heist and Siege. So again, let's hop into the next game and let's keep things rolling. Did you get that pun because I'm a Daryl and I rolled? All right, so here we go into our last game for Daryl. So for Daryl, what we're going to do is just walk up and again, do damage. Uh, sad face over there by our Max. Maybe he doesn't want to play Max. I don't know. They do have a Gale jump. So you'd have to be pretty alert at that Gale jump. So the Gale is just going to jump over here. It's going to be somewhat forward. So either forward into our spawn or just forward like that. Uh, so I walked up just to get a few hits. Not necessarily to play defense. You know, if we get a free kill, there's no point in avoiding it. Uh, and we almost have our roll because of that. So we're going to move up over here. Unfortunately, there's going to be a spike on our safe. And that's definitely the last thing that you want. But we're going to roll up. We're going to do a lot of damage over here. Being a Daryl just alone on safe. Going to do 2.8k. So not that bad. Pretty good. I don't know what that spike alt was. That missed by a pretty good amount. But we almost have our super back. We're going to walk back into this mid over here. Um, and we're just going to try and go down that right side. Now, Gale definitely does hard counter us, which is kind of annoying. But we're able to get a really well-timed super off over there and almost get a kill on that Rico, which would have led to a lot of damage. Unfortunately, we're not able to. The Spike is trying to do some damage right now. We're going to just walk through its super because it doesn't affect us at the moment. Um, Jig's doing a pretty good job in that mid. We're just going to roll over here, try and get that kill. We're not going to be able to get it, but we're going to be able to get one. Going to peek that, going to be able to get another. And now we are on safe, going to do some damage. Unfortunately, Jig didn't go in, but I think he has it planned out. As BB is probably the most important brawler in this comp and how you play it is very important. We're going to be showing you guys that next game. But it looks like we just about have it. And there we go. Jig's going to be able to clutch that. You guys might not know how, but we're going to show you guys how. We're going to get star player. And again, my 527 Darrow. You guys see we don't play these brawlers a lot, but we are showing you guys how to play it properly. So again, let's hop into the next game. Our final brawler, BB. Let's get into it and show you guys what it is. All right, so here we go into our game as BB. So first off... BB and star powers, because that's something that's definitely debate, debated a lot. Um, it's definitely what you prefer. There is no superior star power. Personally, I prefer speed. Jigsaw, who's a good BB, prefers uh, shield. So, I mean, it's definitely what you want um, and what you prefer playing with with your play style. So, how do you play BB in this comp? Now, BB is definitely the most important brawler, as I've said before. And basically, what you want to do is just hold down this mid as best as you can. Now, the best way to do that is basically just to hide in the grass and just use your power shot, your knockback shot to push people back. Now, how you do damage is really important because you're also the big damage on your team. You're just going to go up and stand literally on the safe and just send this ball back and forth. 
You're going to do a ton of damage when you do this. In fact, the dynamite's going to have to break the walls because we do too much damage. Now, if you just stand on safe and just swing away, you're not going to be doing a ton. As you guys can see, you only do 4%. So you're definitely going to try as hard as you can to get that ball. And again, if they break that wall, you got another one right there that you can just send your ball back and forth on. You guys can see I've basically been the only one to do damage, and we've already done a very good amount. BB is an extremely underrated brawler when it comes to damage, especially in Heist. And it's very, very good to say the least. Now that the safe is low, we can kind of just go on and swing away, try and do as much damage as possible. Especially since Jig has his super and, you know, the, the max was alive. Somehow we're not able to take it out. But this game is looking like a GG, especially since once we get a bubble, we can just launch a shot up the map. Uh, I'm going to be able to get a hit right there. And you guys can see, it's going to launch that one forward. It's going to take out the safe. And that's going to be it for our first BB game. So again, BB is a little bit more advanced. It's a little bit less basic than the other ones, which is just mid slash defense and then just pure damage. This one, you actually have to try and get your super bouncer shot correctly and hold mid control. But it is pretty easy once you get the hang of it, once you know what you're doing. It's mostly the knowledge and the understanding of scenarios rather than the actual skill that comes in with it. So again, we're going to hop into our one last final game. Gonna show you guys one more time how to play BB, so let's hop into it and let's get things going. All right, so here we hop into our final games. Now, for some reason, we're facing a Poco, so that's not very OP, but it is what it is. Now, when you're playing BB, you definitely like to face a lot of, like, mid-range brawlers, so brawlers that don't do too much damage, so you can get up close and personal with it. So definitely not a Spike or, like, a Colt. Uh, a Poco is actually pretty good brawler to be facing as a BB. If I got one more tick off my gadget there, I would have been able to do a ton of damage, probably about 25% to their safe. But we're not going to be able to. Now, we're going to definitely try and avoid the spike and Colt as, you know, we do get countered by it. Uh, we're just going to try and knock this guy back. Looks like there's no one here, but we should be able to do a ton of damage over here. Again, we're going to get our ball on safe. And with me and Jigsaw being here, we should be able to take this out pretty easily. And we are going to be able to. So, again, you only want to go on safe once you have that ball. Besides that, you just want to be chilling in the mid. You, ha you have to defend sometimes. You have to be in mid sometimes. And you have to attack sometimes. It's really all over the place with BB. But you guys probably should understand this comp right now. Now, let me know in the comment section below how this comp does for you guys. Again, it works in almost every single heist map. Um, probably does work in every single one. Now, it might not be the absolute best three brawlers for the heist map, but for the actual comp and synergy, it just works so well everywhere that you can even pull it out in Siege and in some other modes, and it will work really, really well just because of the speed, tankiness, and high DPS that you have. But anyways, that's going to be it. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Links for everything is in the description below, so make sure you guys check that out and actually read it. But yeah, that's going to be it. I will see you guys again tomorrow. Peace.